I talk a lot about sugar and caffeine in my videos, and that's because they do so much damage to our bodies, and I believe that people need to know. Everyone knows that caffeine is addictive. That is undeniable. But a lot of people don't know that sugar is also highly addictive. There have been quite a number of studies done on sugar and addiction, and the results are pretty conclusive. But most people don't really need a study to tell them that sugar is addictive. They know from their own personal experience that it is. Because all you have to do is try to get off it, and you'll find out just how addictive sugar is. One of the classic addictive behaviors is denial. A lot of people just refuse to believe that their substance is doing them harm. Uh, for example, caffeine. I get comments on my videos where people challenge me to prove to them that caffeine is harmful. I will not do that. One of the things that I have preached throughout my entire career is that your doctor is not responsible for your health. No one else is. You are the only person who can take responsibility for your health. Do your own research and use your brain. Sit down and make a list of all the addictive substances you can think of. Nicotine, alcohol, heroin, cocaine, meth, and all the others. They're all toxic. But caffeine addicts and many times sugar addicts want to believe that somehow their substance escaped that label. Their substance isn't toxic. All the others are. The problem with that belief is that it's unscientific because a substance, in order to be addictive, has to be toxic. Caffeine and sugar are highly addictive. Therefore, they are highly toxic. Some people will say, well, I'm not giving up my caffeine or I'm not giving up my sugar. I'm not asking you to. I'm just providing the information. You're the one who has to deal with the consequences. And the consequences of chronic exposure to a toxic substance are disease and death.